Mark Fields, President and CEO of Ford. Nice to see you here at CES in Vegas. Oh, great to see you again. And I heard you promise us a revolutionary year in the auto industry in 2016. You made several announcements here. I want to start first with your announcement involving Amazon, because mm -hmm. basically we can just sit on our couch and order our car to do things. <laughs> You know, we, we reused CES uh, today and the announcements today to really uh, put an emphasis on how we're accelerating our transformation from an auto company to an auto and mobility company. And uh, when you think about some of these emerging opportunities that are enabled by technology, we call that our Ford Smart Mobility Strategy. You know, areas of connect, you know, connected cars and autonomous vehicles and using data and analytics to better satisfy customers. And one of the announcements we had on, on the customer experience is around working with Amazon to integrate their uh, Alexa uh, voice uh, activated assistant to not only connect to the vehicle, but also as you're driving in the vehicle to connect to your smart devices in the home. And it's really about making customers' lives easier, giving them convenience where, let's say in the morning they can get up and they can tell Alexa to start their car because it's, a, it's cold out this morning, I want it nice and toasty by the time I get out there. Uh, but even as you're driving home, you can access your home security system, you know, turn the, turn the security system off or open the garage or turn the porch light on. It's really around empowering customers and just giving them a level of convenience and an experience and peace of mind and afford that we wouldn't get anywhere else. Another big announcement today had to do with autonomous cars and basically expanding the vehicles that will be on the road. There was a lot of speculation that you were going to announce a deal with Google. Are you talking with Google at all? Well, we have lots of discussions and we're working with a lot of different companies and around our Ford Smart Mobility Plan. And I think, as you can appreciate, we keep those discussions private for competitive reasons. So, you know, we're not going to comment on that speculation. But what we have said is, as we go forward and we provide mobility solutions in the future, there'll be some cases where we, we do things on our own. And there'll be some cases where we work with, with great partners. And as you think about the announcements we made today on autonomous vehicles, we are shooting towards developing a fully autonomous vehicle. Uh, we've been at this for 10 years now. Uh, we're tripling our fleet of autonomous research vehicles. We'll have up to 30 on the road. And uh, we, you know, we, we, we see a future where there'll be some cases in defined areas where the driver doesn't have to take control. And <clears throat> that'll complement all the other great products that we'll be offering consumers are for consumers that do want to drive. Do we have a point yet of when that future occurs? Are we talking five years, 10 years? Because you also said that this is a technology that an average consumer will be able to afford. It mm -hmm. will not be just for a high-end consumer. So what kind of year generally are targeting for this to hit the market? Well, we haven't given a time frame on when we'll introduce a vehicle. We, we want to make sure that the vehicle operates correctly, is safe, but also is accessible to everyone and not just to folks that can afford luxury cars. Will there be a, an autonomous vehicle, a fully autonomous vehicle, by in the next four years, by the end of the decade? Sure, there might be. Some, somebody might offer one. But from our standpoint, we want to make sure it's true to our brand. And our brand has always been about making people's lives easier and, and, and being accessible to everyone. Your sync technology obviously is getting a wider following, so that's something I know you're quite pleased with. Is it the industry standard in your view? Well, it is the industry's uh, most successful uh, communication and entertainment system. We have uh, 15 million vehicles around the globe that have our sync system. By the end of the decade, we'll probably have over 43 million folks that'll be uh, using that system. And what we used uh, today, we, we talked about giving customers even more choice on how they connect their smartphones uh, to our vehicles through sync. Apple CarPlay we're adding to all of our 2017 model year, vehicles that have sync 3, Android Auto. Uh, and it's r really emphasizing and showcasing the growth of sync and allowing people to stay connected 24 seven because again, it's all about making people's lives easier, and that's something that every customer, they tell us they want. They want to stay connected. So how do we help do that through our vehicles? Mark, as you know, one of the big things at CES this year, drones, and you're getting in on the drone game as well. We saw drones coming out of F-150s <laughs> in a video that you showed. So uh, help me understand why this is an area that you want to venture into as well. Well, it's an important area. It's another part of our Ford Smart Mobility strategy around data and analytics. And we, we announced today a drone developer 
challenge. And essentially, we're working with the UN, and the UN goes into a lot of uh, disaster areas. And they have to go in, they have to survey the area. Think about if we can provide a UN employee, you know, and they're, they're driving in their F-150. The drone can actually take off, do its survey, its thermal mapping of the area so they can kind of figure out what's going on. The driver can actually be driving to another area in the disaster zone. And because the drone would be linked to the GPS system in the vehicle, it will know where to go back to land in the bed of the truck. And that way it may provide emergency services faster. But think about this. Uh, think about applications potentially for agriculture, farmers. Think about uh, construction. Think about even things like infrastructure inspection, bridge inspection. These folks are using trucks. So how do we combine the use of their trucks and these great drones to allow them to be more productive um, and more efficient in the jobs that they do? Mark Fields, a lot of announcements today. There'll be more in Detroit next week. We'll see you yes, then. Yes, there will. Thanks. Thank you.